I am from Whitbank, Pumalanga, and I'm here today to break up with my girlfriend, Ulangilise, because I feel as though my love for her is not enough. So, what changed between when you guys met and a few months later? Because, from what he told me, now, is that he, there was a point right at the beginning of the relationship where you guys were spending time. So I just want to know what changed in your life between that time and when he started complaining about you spending time. I was doing something at school then, so I had more time. Okay. Because obviously if I'm not studying, there's nothing else I'm doing, I'm with him, right? Yeah. Beginning of the year, I started focusing on my business. So, okay, I get now that you were, you were working on your business, that makes sense. Do you make time for your friends? I do. So what, what makes it so hard to make time for him? It's always late. When, when I finish when, work? When I finish working. When I see time, it has to be in the of the family. Uh -huh. Then we spend the whole entire day together. So now what's the point of going to him at 10 and then 6, 7 a.m. I'm up and leaving? But that's because I also have work in the morning. So it's an issue I mean, of time. You can't pull up on a Wednesday at 10, 11. But where do I come from? It's not like we are in the now. But it's not an everyday day, though. So what about all the other days when you how? are not working? And you would much rather be with your friends than to spend time with me? I will, so I'm never with my friends and me to begin with. It happens that okay, you know, on weekends. You're, you're the one that knows exactly that it happens that I tell you that I'm not busy today. I get a phone call at 10, 11 a.m. And then I have to leave. But so is that the type of job you do? Like it, it's yeah, random I'm phone calls? I'm self-employed. So most of the things I have to do them myself, some of those things require me. Yeah, is it all the time? It's Monday to Sunday? I do make time, it's not that bad. Did he explain it that it's that bad? It's not that bad. Now tell me about E31st. That's the example I've got. On the 31st of December, and going into the new year together, mm. right? Utek me notabis, ukulumile nawe, wati uzofika. Gabo five, work four nela, what you know, I need a couple of more hours, gisa bits, right? Work four nela, if phone was a penduli, nezindo. Eventually, your phone is off, right? The next day, in Gabo ten, usuyam fornela, you were in an accident. But what he found out was that you were in an accident coming from an event when you were meant to be with him. Clearly, for me, just hearing the story, you had time on that day. Mm but you made a choice to be somewhere else. And that for me says, it's a big statement. Maybe that particular experience must tell you, would say, Mklambe, I don't like the guy as much as I think I, do, I thought I do. Or I don't want the relationship to be as serious as he wants it to be. And that's the conversation that I think the two of you should have had. It's fair if we do that to people, tell them where you stand, then, then, but it's also, it's not easy. It's not? It's not easy because at the end of the day, you end up hurting the person. It's yeah. not easy. It's not something you can just do. Yeah. Especially if you see that someone is invested in you. You can't just say, hey, Tavis, I feel so so You can't. So is that what it is? Yes, it is. Then you couldn't just tell me that? I mean, it was better to just hurt me with the truth, you know? And you just drag it on and on and on, and then even the plans that we had for the future. Talking about moving in together. Okay, let's play this out. Let's say we did move in together. Now we're living together and you're not even on the same page. How is that even gonna work? I'm just glad that I finally do know now what the real reason is. It doesn't make it hurt any less, but I guess now I finally have that closure of what the real reason was. It was all right.